So here's my build. Um, I had built everything properly um, and set it up with my NHD15, which was looked amazing. Everything was fitted properly. I watched loads of videos to make sure that everything was lined up properly and correctly. Everything's seated properly. All the cables are in. The power switch literally does nothing. So the power supply is turned on. Power switch does nothing. Reset switch does nothing. It's plugged in properly into the JFP1 uh, in the correct orientation as well. I've made sure that the uh, the, the details are they're all lined up properly. Um, I've even taken out the jumpers individually and manually put them into the power switch. Swapped over the reset switch as well to see if that would do it. Still no power. Um, I've taken out the motherboard cable and I've done the, the jumper um, power switch short, which um, powered everything on, obviously apart from the motherboard. Um, so that's not the issue. Um, someone suggested doing a BIOS reset. So I've got the USB stick plugged in the back and I've just, if I press the button now, see it start flashing red. And suddenly it made everything jump into life. However, we've got the CPU light on here. So that CPU light isn't a good sign. So I've had to take the um, the cooler back off. Um, I've reseated the CPU, made sure the plugs were plugged in properly. Um, there's no bent pins, everything looks like it's in order. Uh, again, I've followed lots of videos to make sure that the, the cooler installation went perfectly. Um, no, a decent amount of thermal paste, good spread. And yeah, so don't know whether this is the this is normal but um, I do think the power switch things are very strange the fact that that does nothing um, even tried shorting those two pins with a metal object to try and get that started because I've seen that's another way to start the, uh, the motherboard without a power switch uh, again nothing starts at all um, so I think it might be a motherboard issue but I Oh, yeah, I just want to make sure that before I have to RMA it, um, I know it's showing the CPU light, but I think the fact that it's not powering on shows that there is a problem with the motherboard. So if someone can clarify that, that'd be amazing. Thank you.